Hey, Tia. Let me adjust this camera. I can't get it right to save myself. How was your day? It was good. How about yours? It was good. It was good. Girl. Listen. I can't complain, though. I didn't do uh, much of anything today. I um, went to the store this morning. Um, I hung out with uh, Urban for a little bit on her. She was on for a while today. And nice. then I came home. Well, I was I hung out with her even when I came home. And then I um, did nothing. I didn't have to Hi, cook. Hi, Girl. Hi, GT. Hi, Urban. Hey, GT. Hey, Urban. Hey, Chai Moss. But yeah, Miss Cheryl, you her. made salsa last weekend. We were supposed to, but you know what? It, it wasn't was working. Time. Everybody was tired last weekend. <laughs> was it nothing working? I couldn't. Oh, it was a lot <laughs> happening. It, uh, it was we a gonna lot make it today, week. though. We gonna do it today. I we own it today. Either. You. So did you not make nachos today? I told you I had to cook. Oh, I didn't see that. My husband. Um, GT? He's went. He went to a um, comedy show. He went to go see some more. He got tickets for that for his birthday, which was in July. His birthday was in July, but he got tickets to that because he wanted to go. And so he and his cousin went. Because mm -hmm. I didn't want to go. I've seen some more before, but I'm not out. I'm not into the comedy. Right. Music. Right. Okay, hey, Erica. Yes, hey, Miss Cheryl. So we were supposed to make it last weekend. It was. I'm sorry. We couldn't. I was yeah. supposed to get my hair taken down. They said two hours. It turned into like six and a half. I didn't get out of there till 8 30. Gina dang near passed out. She was sleepy. She was up there painting with Lydia. Mm hmm. Couldn't. Hey, Miss Cassandra. Hey, Miss Cassandra. GT, is this the cup you yes. want? This is just a plain cup. It's 40 ounces. But I like this cup because I could fit a whole bottle in it. I'm just saying. <laughs> Hilarious. So, will y'all see me with this cup? Just, just know. So I got a whole bottle in there. Hilarious. All right. Yes, y'all, salsa is probably one of the easiest cannings you can do from your garden harvest. Even if you don't do it from your garden harvest, it's just an easy thing to make yourself and make it to your liking. Because we all know we done bought some grocery store salsa that ain't quite what you would have actually wanted. You just settle for it. I might have made mine too hot, y'all, though. I might have to taste some. Um, I used peppers from my garden, um, jalapenos, and some of them were red. So, you know, they're hotter. <laughs> they were on the plant way too long. Um, I threw one ghost pepper in there. Just one? Mm-hmm. I ain't crazy. And right. cause I didn't deceive none of my stuff. So the seeds and everything are in there. And um me too. Now see, I don't do you you're Tia, Erica. You're Tia. She does spicy chunky. I do I like restaurant style, I like the smoother, but I do spicy. Mm -mm. So I blend mine up, which for the last hour I could not find the attachment to my immersion blender. So I had to figure out another way to blend mine up some, and it was not, I had to use my actual blender and it was a whole thing. Cause I have, I don't have the, um, I have a big blender, but I don't have it pulled out. I have the ones that you typically use for like your smoothies and stuff. I have a magic bullet and I have a ninja over there. And yeah, it just, it took several trips. It was not fun. You don't do hot. GT? Oh, I do. Let me show y'all this. 
GT made me remember. I made this today. Ooh, I like. Who is that for? Um, one of Marcus's truck driver. I was gonna say I knew that wasn't for you. You now you know. Now you know. <laughs> I like it though. It came out nice. It did. It looks really nice. Y'all, yeah, so y'all, y'all remember when we pickled a couple weeks ago, and I pickled those green beans because I wanted to see how they how they taste because people talk about it all the time. I haven't opened them, but I was going to taste them tonight for you guys to tell you my honest opinion of what I think about them. Nope, that is the canner you're hearing. <laughs> That's what I was like. Is there? A is the window open? What is that? No. It's probably hotter than it needs to be. I started I it looking in there, but the jars. It ain't no food in there. Is someone sing it off key? <laughs> that was the canner. I, de like, I dehydrated a ton of scotch bonnets, habaneros yesterday. Mm -hmm. Gone a powder. Yes, my. Yep. I keep my. I don't powder them all the way. I, I kind of like um, crushed peppers in my stuff. Mm -hmm. And then I have a smaller one I'm sending to my cousin because she likes the hot stuff. So I told her I would send her some from my garden this year. I was telling her about it at our family reunion. Nice. But I also am going to be making my watermelon pepper jam. Gina's and world today, famous watermelon pepper jam. Just saying. And today, I won Dragon Fruit on Juicing with Jay's channel. He did an impromptu live for his um, members. And he gave away Dragon Fruit to three people. I was the first one who went to. I was like, awesome. <laughs> so I'm going to try to make a Dragon Fruit Jam. But I want to mix pepper in that as well. So I'm going to figure that out. That's I have found idea. recipes for dragon fruit jam, jam it, though. And it's just dragon fruit and sugar. It's a good idea. And it thickens up. So I'm going to try and make a dragon fruit jam. I, I haven't decided what pepper I think I want to mix with it. It is the jam that um, Angela was eating and running all around. It is. That was one of them, but that was the one that she was, that was the particular one. I think I sent her three different ones. I sent her the apple, caramel apple pie, something else. But yes, the water, she, I think she, did I send her the watermelon one? I, I might, I think I did. I know I sent it to, I sent it to you, didn't I, Tia? Yes. I think I sent Lydia one. I sent Erica one and I sent, um, carbon one see you've done dragon food jam i'm gonna do it i just want to add a little heat to it though too gt said i want to run like that <laughs> i know that's right gt that was the best that video. was the best that the was the best, best. Yeah. i made this this week or was it last week yes, i don't know that was last week Mm -hmm. So it's Thai chilies, cayenne, California chilies, and then all the peppers from my garden from last year that I dehydrated and I didn't do anything with. So it was three gallon size Ziploc baggies. And I just um, did pepper flakes and then... Um, these and then you had given me a ghost and what was and the other Carolina Reaper? So I have that in here too. Mm -hmm. I yep. just had a little bit, just like probably one little grain. Yeah, it stuck with you. Yeah. Hey, Miss Felicia. Hi, Miss Felicia. Hey, uh, her her grounded one has roast. No, they were smoked. Mm -hmm. Let me smoke some. I, those are those are separate. 
Oh, those ain't in there. I didn't I put the were... smoked ones in there. That way we can just add, keep adding like to it. So I have yeah, one, the yeah, smoked yeah. hatch, Liblamo, and jalapeno. Okay. Let me grab these beans. Well, I guess I'll get started. So I already canned. There's my beans. I haven't cracked the seal. I already canned 16 pints of salsa. And what? I have and I have ones that um we've been eating out of. So I already canned those. So if it looks a mess over there, that's why, because I've already done it. And then um, I'm about to do the exact same thing again, but with this batch, this first batch, I used Mrs. Wage, this. And with the second batch, I'm, use, I'm going to use this Azure salsa seasoning. See which one we like better. Hey, you, hey, girl, girl. Girl, girl. Pickle y'all some green beans. You love it? Yes. Let's see the jar. Hold the jar. That's pretty. I'm sorry I'm smacking y'all. I was about to say y'all know it's good because she's smacking. Does <laughs> it got that nice tart to it? Is there a deal? Hey, Cece. Hey, Cece. Is it good? Is it good? I'm glad you like it. Fresh green beans. Pickle you some green beans. I'm glad you like it. Yes. You guys, if you could please make sure you hit the like button and share me out. I'm going to get started. So I have in the pot, I have cilantro, three quarts of my diced and whole tomatoes, a red onion, two bulbs of garlic, and six cups of peppers. Uh, jalapeno and plebano mix. And then I have 12 cans of Hunt's Fire Roasted. Y'all, if you don't make your own Fire Roasted, Hunt's Fire Roasted is the next best thing. If you got to buy store-bought tomatoes, Hunt's Fire Roasted. I'm telling you. So I'm about to go add those in there. And I'm not going to add them all. I'm going to blend, blend it down. But I like mine chunky. So I'm really just blending in the, the tomatoes and everything, the whole tomatoes that I have in there. And then um, I'm putting chunks on top of it to get it back. Yes, Hunts is it. So I did all the things that um, Tia said. I did the Hunts fire roasted tomatoes. Yes. I did a lot more garlic than she did. Um, I did the jalapenos from my garden, a ghost pepper from the garden, and then another one, I forget what it was. It was another hot one. It wasn't um, the ghost. I grew several different peppers. Um, what else is in there? Cilantro. And one of the packs of that Mrs. Wages, the medium, and that might be it. So mine, Tia does a chunky style. She prefers chunky. Hey, Auntie Ellen. Hi, Auntie Ellen. She prefers Ellen. chunky salsa. I prefer restaurant style, so I do blend mine to a little bit smoother consistency. Um, there's like a little bit of chunk in it, but not much. So I'm going to get mine started.
So I had whole tomatoes in here and rough chopped cilantro, so I had to get that down. Like I couldn't leave that part of it. Tia. I'm sorry, what'd you say? What do we feel it to? Half an inch. Half okay. inch headspace. to um season it oh you're just now starting yours as far as cooking it the second batch yes okay I, i'm a little bit ahead on that y'all because i didn't do batches this time i said i was but things happened i couldn't find my detachment <laughs> <laughs> So I spent too much time looking for it because I was like, Gina, what did you do with that? Gina was like, I will not have the chunks. Nope. Not an option. I will, however, have more than one batch, guys, because I have seven jars for the first batch, and that's not, I have way more salsa to can. I'm going to put a little bit of vinegar and some salt in here. Just a little. more of that salsa seasoning. I wasn't sure how much to use. Um, Gina says she only used a bag. I use three bags of Mrs. Wages. I usually do like the box container, but they didn't have that at the store. Yeah, I just did um, one, but Tia likes a lot more salt than I do. <laughs> <laughs> She right, she right. All right, I got the spacing like right on par, darn near. Except for two jars, need a little bit more. Oh, I like the Azure. You like the flavor? Yeah, that's why you need salt. 
See what I mean, y'all? <laughs> but it's got a lot of flavor. It's got a really good flavor to it. I think more than the Mrs. Wage. Like, I just taste, like, more rounded flavor. But I need some salt. It probably doesn't, y'all. <laughs> And I'll show you my jars after I, I get them all ready, y'all. I'll show you at least one. Oh, yeah. I like that. I'm going to let that come to a boil, and then I'm going to let it simmer for a little bit. Hey, G Mama. Yes, thank you. I think I got that at Marshall's. Hey, G Mama. I'm going to go back in the chat, make sure I didn't miss anything. Fresh guac. Marcus likes guacamole. I do not. I like guac. Mike, oh Lord, I just saw a new bean. I'm ordering more seed. Mike, I think you good on seed. Yes, you grow road. You got that pot to the brim. I would spill that all over the place. Nice, Gina. Yeah. So we got seven of them going in now. Um that pot stayed to the brim when I'm making salsa. It stayed to the brim. <laughs> it's past my nap time. Well, thank you, Auntie Ellen. You stay in the bushes, but sleep well. <laughs> yep, get some rest. <laughs> it's not going to boil over, Erica. <laughs> I would she catch like it. She like living on the edge, y'all. She like living on the edge. <laughs> y'all, I fed Chewy at like three thirty instead of five. Uh huh. Is he looking for food? This dog ain't left this kitchen yet. Y'all, y'all hear his little feet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he like what? Y'all just gonna let me start? <laughs> Living on the edge. That pot is just fine. I got a good half an inch left. Let me start just getting my other jars ready, taking the tops off so I could put them in the water. Inch left, yes. That's two more jars of tomatoes. Find me some of my bigger rings. <laughs> oh crap! I was gonna add some citric acid to that, and I didn't. To my jars. Mm -hmm. Did you end up adding it to yours? Yes. Yeah, I sure didn't. Four, six. All right. Ooh, hot, hot, hot. Shut up, Erica.
I do want to taste it. Yes, taste it with your spicy ghost pepper. It's it's definitely spicy. I'm gonna lighten the, the second round up some because I'm sharing it with my daughter. Uh -huh. Um she may not be as enthused about having so much heat as I am. So I'm gonna add a little bit of brown sugar. Cause I probably have enough to do another seven or eight jars, y'all. So that's what that that how to give me two batches. And I add a little bit of pizza. This is a brown sugar to your salsa. Honey, yes. So let me tell you why that works because you can make fruit salsas ain't that sugar you could do peach you could do pineapple you can put fruit in your salsa there ain't nothing but sugar she right i'm shaking my head i'm shaking my head it's still hot <laughs> see your face <laughs> How many ghost peppers did you put in? Just one. Wow. But I put in a lot of those jalapenos. And mm -hmm. like I said, they had, um, I didn't deceive mine. So the seeds are in there too. It's not fire hot. It's good for me. But I already, I can hear my daughter right now like, it's good, but it's hot. <laughs> what did they say cuts? heat is it acid is it vinegar cuts the heat does it i know sugar will cut like the acid like if i'm making spaghetti sauce and all i taste is tomatoes i'll add sugar i do too but i don't know why but it feels like the more sugar i add the hotter it gets. <laughs> i'm not putting no more in there I promise y'all, it's like it's getting hotter. The more sugar I put in there. I put a half a cup in there already. She just used one pepper, y'all. <laughs> it's just going to be hot. I know that's right. That's all that is. It's, like I said, it's not too hot for me. It's perfect for me. But the thing is, when you can it up and it has more time to just sit and, and it that, sits, it's going to get hotter. And <laughs> I don't like it hot. I don't want it hot if I'm just like sitting and snacking. Like if I'm not if I'm just sitting and snacking. <laughs> I do. I have found one at our Kroger's that they sell is in the refrigerated area, like where the specialty cheeses and stuff usually are and all that stuff. And they have a Serrano one and they have a habanero one. I think the habanero is the hottest that they have. So they have a jalapeno, a Serrano, habanero. I love it. Mm -hmm. There is a, um, like, it's the Kroger brand, and it's like you said, in the refrigerator aisle. So it's not with the other sauces. But I like it. It's fresh, and mm -hmm. I like it. 
Yep. Now this one isn't Kroger brand, but it is. It's fresh. It's a very mm -hmm. good salsa. It's really good. Mike, it's I don't mind. It probably, probably is CC. What's she? What's it probably that? is that ghost pepper. And it was another type of pepper I put in there. Um, the ones I grew on the side of the house, if y'all remember that. Like I had two of them, mowed, three of them mowed down, but then I had one that wasn't. I can't remember the type it was. The bueno something or something like that. I don't know. I got, we went to like the Asian market and I got some more Thai chilies. I like Thai chilies. Mm -hmm. And then, um, what is it? It just said something. whole chilies but they're they're definitely not like cayenne or thai i want to make some um some of that pepper oil chili oil oh yeah yeah i've seen recipes for that they are doing well cc i've harvested three so far the two that you that if you saw my short the two that was in the short and then I have a small one on the counter now that I'm going to make watermelon jam with. And um, actually, it's more jelly. It's a watermelon jelly. But um, I'm going to use that to make that, I hope. I'm kind of mad at myself. So most of the watermelons I grew this year, the seeds came from David Corey with the crop. He sent me a bunch of different, well, I, he sent me several different varieties. Um, and I know one was the Carolina Cross, but I don't remember the other ones. And I would have to go back to my um, video, video when I will do my garden tours to re remember, because I've mentioned them in there. I know one was um, Orange Tender which I don't think I got any of those. I don't think any of those came up. And I don't remember what the other one was, but the one that's yellow skin, if anybody knows what watermelon has a yellow outer skin, but it's red in the inside, I grew that one. But it did, It wasn't that sweet, so I didn't, I just took all the seeds out and kind of trash trashed it. And I wish I would have kept it because it would have been perfect for the watermelon jelly. And I didn't think about it at the time. I totally forgot about the watermelon jelly. But I have the Charleston Gray. I cut that up um, yesterday and it's in my fridge now. So I can use some of that with the little one if I need more. I kept a lot of seeds though. All of my cantaloupe split this year, you grow out all uh, except for maybe I think I harvested three that did not. I had tons of cantaloupe for some reason, tons, but most of them split. And I. Do you want to say golden midget? It's midget, but midget would be smaller, right? This was like um, sugar baby size, and I don't think it was full size. I don't know though, Gima. Honestly. But yes, all of my cantaloupe pretty much, I have three of them out there right now that are split and I just leave them. I'm going to have big problems next year, y'all, because I had already had two of them split that I just left in the bed and like the bugs and the birds and all the things was eating at it. And I did, I don't care. But you know the seeds are going to be uh -huh. <laughs> in that soil. Uh -huh. Same thing happened with my tomatoes. I had a lot of tomatoes like might have dropped from the plant the, the the chocolate cherries and the um those uh grape ones i don't know what variety they were because it wasn't supposed to be grape tomatoes it was supposed to be a brandy wine plant i'm gonna have all kinds of stuff coming up next year and i'm just gonna keep plucking them as they mm -hmm. come up because i don't really want them in those places mm -hmm. and Hi, i'm Mr. not going to next year hey mama shirley I'm Mike says his patty pan died in the cold snap. Sorry, Mike. Oh, Mike, really? Mike. 
Mine never came up, Mike. I had one. Mine never came up either. And then it fell off, and the plant. I think a squash bug got to it because the plant just died. But I have about eight delicata squash out there right now. Nice. If not more. Nice. And I have nice sized ones too. The the one the container I told you that I have the one planet is uh -huh. just crazy. It's I was showing Destiny yesterday. I'm like they are everywhere. That sounds so good. Some delicata squash because it was cool today. I do have a few of them that I harvested already. I have this Ooh. one. Do a this video. I might want to cook it because I'm going to be getting instruction from you of the best way that you like it. And then I, this is the biggest one. And I think the other two are smaller. Look, I have my camera pointed this way for a reason, guys, because there's a lot of harvest over here. <laughs> Now, I like to let where it's green, I like to let that get like golden yellow. Okay. So, so maybe you sit it in my windowsill? Yeah, I usually let it sit unless I think that is, you know, I don't want it to go bad. So okay. um, I got bubbles. Now Thanks, Mike. It's tiny. It wasn't getting any bigger. The plant was dying. I thought I had a third one, but I only see two. Y'all watching this pot. This pot is not going to overflow. Oh, I do have a third one. It's in another spot where my harvest stuff is. But um, I just cut it in half, scoop the seeds out, and you can roast the seeds. But I cut it in half, put some one. butter and season it, salt, pepper, and maybe some slap your mama. Ooh. That sounds so so right now I have a bunch of tomatoes in my windowsill. Actually, that I need to I, I need to move them, but I need to wash them because I've just been putting them in a um the aromas. <laughs> I've been putting them in a freezer bag and freezing them. I've already frozen two bags of tomatoes. I still have from last season. I need to process those tomatoes, but y'all, the overwhelmingness of it is driving me nuts. That those tomatoes that I Tia. Huh? <laughs> they said that pot is giving them anxiety. They watching this pot. This pot, all right. I'm gonna turn my um so I can see. Okay, it's the pressure. I had to see if it was where it needed to be. Um, how many is this? Fifteen, Tia. Fifteen Processing? minutes. That's what I thought. Why my clock's got a different time? Make sure I put it in my next round. So I meant to put some in there. And y'all, the citric acid just helps. Um, doesn't it just help to make to keep it fresh? Um, no, it it adds it adds acid to make oh, it safer for water bathing. And tomatoes are pretty safe for water bath, but because she didn't measure any of the things that went into the recipe. Right, right. It's just to be safe. You guys want, yes, we're water bath, canning the salsa. Tomatoes can water bath because they're, they're, um, they have acid. The acidity, does it affect taste? No, you can't taste it. Nope. I'd rather have the citric acid than lemon juice. Because mm -hmm. I, I do taste the lemon juice. So I mm -hmm. like the citric acid. And it lasts, I mean, I only used a quarter teaspoon per jar. So it lasts mm -hmm. a long time. Yeah, I've had mine for a while. Okay. 
No, it doesn't have to, Mike. Like, if you just follow, like, a recipe, a candy recipe, and even if not, you're probably fine because, you know, it's just a, it's just an extra measure. Vinegar for what? For the acid? For acid, yes. So, like, Mrs. Wage, if you follow the recipe on those packets, she puts vinegar in it, and I think it's, like, a half a cup. I don't put vinegar. I put just, like, a little splash of vinegar in mine. Mm-hmm. You grow up, listen, hon. <laughs> Last year we canned salsa twice. Between the two times, I think I might have had anywhere from twenty to thirty jars of salsa. It did not last me a year. It don't last. I love salsa though. So it depends on the person. I have never gone through so much salsa until I started making it myself. Right, Urban. Urban said, no, that's just for football season. <laughs> right. I And I'm really the only one who eat it. I do share it with my daughter, my oldest. She likes salsa, but my youngest and my husband don't really eat it. I might add it. Well, this I won't because it's a hot. Last year I did a peach and a hot. And um, the peach one, they would have. It was like a hot, but it wasn't really. It was pretty. It, the peach made it kind of mild, but it was delicious. What's funny is from last year's canning season, the only things that I have left is I just did inventory on it. That's the only reason why I know. I had, I think, four jars of canned chicken, three jars of chicken soup, and three or four jars of red beans and um, smoked turkey. And I might, ha I do have some jellies still uh Not from last year though. Those jellies that we made, I think this year. And I do, I think I have a couple of, oh, I have vegetable broth. Cause we went, I went crazy on the second time we made vegetable broth. It was so freaking delicious. I don't use any other broth when I cook. I don't use chicken or beef. I use vegetable broth. The I was at the store broth. this week and saw like the vegetable broth. Mm -hmm. And I was like, you know what? It's about that time again. I still have plenty because I went crazy the second time we can. I was like, I cannot run out of this again. <laughs> so I did quart jars and pint jars the last time. Actually, no, I'm not going to. I'll wait till the morning to post. So I was going to say, I could post my, um, look, I'm going to show y'all all my clutter behind me. <laughs> um, uh, I need to post my video for um, the, I made a Jamaican beef curry. And I, every recipe I saw, they just added water to make the broth. And I did my vegetable broth instead because it's more flavor. That's the only thing about this. It doesn't really stay down. I don't know if it's not supposed to. I have to ask Lydia since she uses one. It doesn't pop come off, but it kind of goes up and down. Like, I don't know. That's weird. Do you have a good recipe? Hi, brown skin times. Um, my vegetable broth tends to have too much of keratin. There is a... 
you probably should do maybe next time you do it you, you should do a video instead but we um i just tossed in a whole bunch of different vegetables how about you just pull back back on the amount of carrots you put in it i uh-huh. i just get i because i did um celery green pepper well i did peppers whatever sweet peppers i had um onion garlic um what else was in there carrots of course carrots were in there uh, i put tomatoes in mine and, and, and basil uh not basil um bay leaf uh, bay leaf that's what i was i was trying i'm like i'm picturing what i'm trying to say and i couldn't get it out of bay leaf um is that it I no, put tomato, tomatoes, tomato, right? peppers, like bells, bell peppers, um, celery, onion, garlic, mm-hmm. peppercorns, bay leaf. I think that's Peppercorn. it. Yep, peppercorns. Um, but it was it's delicious. It's so I, it is alive on this channel. Um, a live title, um, canning vegetable broth. Um, and that that kind of shows what we had in ours. And we just, um, I know I did. I think you might have did the same thing. I can't remember, but I just let it go all day mm-hmm. and kind of simmer and with those vegetables. And then I just take um, one of my colanders things and scoop out the vegetables. And then I just, I'm left with the broth. <laughs> I have, I think it's saved in StreamYard. Let me check. Um, but like, and I think it's only like a minute long or something of me prepping it. Let awesome. Me see if it's still there. That you could post like um, a short if it's only a minute. Uh huh. If it's longer than that, you could just do it as a short video. That'd be awesome because that'd be helpful. Hold on, let me see. I think it's in brand because Lydia made me do it. It's two minutes. I'm gonna play the video. That's awesome. Go Awesome. You need to post that. Did you catch that? Are you still in here, Brown Skin Times? I, you should post that. That's That would be very helpful. But it's really, I mean, 
Do you just prep a couple of stuff, put it in your water and let it sit? Go do whatever you're doing for yep. a couple of hours. Awesome. And you're good. And yep. I, it is, I've never been like, mmm, broth. But with it that, I'm that like, mmm, broth. It's that good. <laughs> the first time I made it with Tia, I was just following the, I wanted to make it and I was following the instructions and whatnot of, of, that she gave. But when I actually used it, I was using it in my curries. I was using it in all kinds of stuff. And it made it so much more flavorful. Yep. And yep. I was like, I I told her, we need to do that again because I need to stock up on <laughs> vegetable broth. And as it's a canner, so I do not can chicken broth. I don't can beef broth. I've done it all before. Takes too long. I don't really like it. I will can vegetable broth all day, all night. And if you're canning it, I think it's only like 25, 35 minutes in the canner. Mm -hmm. I got Come two on. minutes, y'all, in this first batch. I don't think mine is bubbling yet. It's so good, Miss Cheryl. It really is. And what I found is like the second time we did it and I, I let my vegetables like go for almost like I started them like in the afternoon and they went until we did the live. Um, it was like really deep in color mm -hmm. and um, yep. more so than the first time I did it because I did that one like a couple, maybe two or three hours before the live. Mm -hmm. So the longer the vegetables are in there, probably the more pungent the flavor is. Mm -hmm. It's pulling all of that flavor out of them vegetables. Mm -hmm. So good. So good. And if you didn't want to do it on such a large scale, too, you can. And you don't have to can it. You could do it and freeze it. Nope. And I've done that before. I, um. I think it might have been the last batch that we did. I had some that didn't seal. I just took it right out mm -hmm. to, the, to the freezer. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's not boiling yet. That pot looked better to y'all. Now that half of it's gone. <laughs> It don't look like half of it is gone. That's half of it. That's because I got 10 pints and it's over half of it. I, pr I probably won't get another 10 pints out of it. Oh, okay. It just looks deeper from here, the pot. Let you know we'll do it. Okay, Miss Cheryl. We'll make sure we can give plenty of notice when we're going to do it. I need to do it, especially, uh, you know, now that fall is right around the corner. Yeah. That pressure yeah. can are going to be out. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, I did. I need to um, edit my uh, freezer prep video. I don't know if you were in my live last week, last Friday. Not this past one, but the Friday before, I talked about uh, meal prepping and doing freezer meals. So I did do that last weekend. However, comma, I was down there today looking for peppers for my salsa because last season I went ahead and prepped up some peppers for salsa, even though I didn't need them, at, need salsa at the time, and froze it. As I was doing that, I found food. I was like, what's, what's that? Maybe you found food. I found food that I was not paying attention to that was in my freezer. So I have like Dollar Tree baskets that I use to, to put the stuff in and I slide it into the you know shelf. There was two roasts and one or two packs of pre-padded hamburger patties from my last freezer prep session 
I said, I need to pull those because I didn't know I had those. Good thing I didn't prep any more roasts, but I did pro prep more burgers. But yeah. So tomorrow we're probably going to have roast for dinner. I don't know yeah. what we're doing for dinner tomorrow. It's probably going in the crock pot in the morning. Yeah. So yeah, even in an upright freezer, you lose food sometimes. You didn't. You don't lose it. You just forget it's there. Like uh -huh. I, I knew stuff was there, but what I thought was there wasn't what it was. Uh -huh. So my brain was thinking it was one thing when it was something totally different. So yeah, that happened. I said yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to do that on Monday. I have a kitchen full of veggies from the garden. Nice. Yes. That's gonna be so good. You got I want I want feedback to do feedback on, on when you actually cook with it. Um you grow well on your channel. I think you are gonna be pleasantly surprised. Oh shoot, mine is ready. <sighs> shoot, we went and sat down. So, oh, I see him. Y'all, he's so cute. He's so precious. Where is my friend? Where is my buddy? He over here sleep. They both sleep. The one after the one they figured out what's happening at five o'clock. The one you don't tell enough that he's so cute and he's so handsome because he is. I mean, he handsome, but he not so pre he precious, but he, he not is, so precious. He is precious. Chewy is so precious. That's why he was so happy to see me when I came, because he knew. <laughs> he knew. <laughs> it was like, take me away from her. She doesn't appreciate my greatness. He was sleeping in the kitchen, like all stretched out. And I'm like, oh, no. Philip. You cannot sleep in the middle of the kitchen. I'm going to trip over you. And he just lay back down. <laughs> Puppy, don't. get over here. <laughs> they both so precious. They both are, y'all. Kodak is precious. He is. <laughs> but you so Marcus be like, he just sleep. And I'm like, I know, but he just so handsome. <laughs> and she seriously do that. Every, he, just, he don't be doing nothing. He's so precious. He be so cute. We had to start pulling out the heater. Not for like long term, but just like to take the chill out the air. Take that nip out the air because... I know, like last night, I'm like, Marcus, it's cold. <laughs> it's 60 degrees. Just pull the heater out, pull the heater out. About 10, 15 minutes, then we'll put it away. Mm -hmm. But Chewy is here for it. Is mm -hmm. here for the heaters. Yes. He's probably excited. He's like, finally, my time of year. <laughs> <sighs> All right, so I'm going to start my timer at 15 minutes. Now that those are up and boiling. Let me crack this a little bit. So is that pronounced duvette urban? Like, I've seen it. I know what it is, but I've never heard anybody oh, say duvet. it. Duvet. Okay. That's where they use water to cook. Is that what that is? No, I think it's like a comforter. Listen, child. <laughs> and maybe I, I was thinking about, oh, souve is the thing that they use for. <laughs> I think that's called a souve. Uh huh. No, it's, a, it's like a comforter. Like I've seen, I've read books, you know, and they'll say it in there, but I don't know how like to pertain. Duvet, okay, duvet. But I don't. I still look. I'm. I'm out of the know. Y'all fancy. I don't know what a duvet is. <laughs> it's a cover for your comforter. 
Why my comforter need a cover? Like cover that holds a cover. <laughs> I <laughs> thought it was just a fancy word for comforter. <laughs> Let's see. I was like, oh, they fancy. I don't know what it is. Look, I'll be Googling it though, for sure. <laughs> I can tell you I won't have it. I'm I'm that person that's either comfortable, but I'm only comfortable because there's a foot out. So one foot in cover, one foot out cover. Now I'm perfect. I'm that person. I'm definitely that person. Don't laugh at me, Miss. I like we we have a comforter and all that stuff, but honestly, I don't sleep under the comforter. I sleep on top of all that stuff with my favorite blanket that covers me. And if I get cold, I just pull my heater out, which the heater is probably already out because Marcus keeps it cold in the house. And me and Chewy can't take the coat. <laughs> yeah, definitely one foot out, Urban. Sometimes now, if I'm cold, because sometimes when I go to bed, I'm the I'm a person that the house doesn't have to be cold all the time for me to feel cold. Because I usually ask everybody, like, is it cold in here? Or is it just me? And everybody says it's just me. Mm -hmm. So. That those nights I'll be under the cover completely, but eventually my body is going to warm and then right. my foot has to come out. <laughs> I'm not foot. So I'm usually arm. I'm usually arm because I'll cover up with the blanket and then I'll get hot and I'll put my arm out and then I put it back in. And there's been like I have the like one piece sleepers. Yeah. And I will unzip that and take my arm out. Yeah, that's too ready. much clothes. You already did too much for me. There's no such thing as that. There's no, no. I'm, I'm, hey, I'm, 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 I would have to keep this PG, but no, there's no onesie. No. <laughs> I'm hot just thinking about that. The I'm onesies hot. now. I go, the hey, onesies. Some. The onesies be life. <laughs> it's, it's, it's your a personalized blanket. No, I have to candy. And some siphoned. Are they still okay to eat? Yes. Did you see it? Yeah. Yes. Yes. So usually with oh. siphoning, I know I get that because I'm impatient and I don't let like the I don't let the water cool down enough. So then I got that hot, hot water, and then I take that jar out that hot water, and then the air around it is cool. So you'll get siphoning. So if you'll just leave it in the water a little bit longer, you shouldn't have any siphoning. But I'm the queen yeah, of siphoning. I have, I have them for, to me, sometimes I feel like I get it for different, in the beginning, I was getting it for a different reason. Because if you watch videos on how, how to, and they always say to um, put your, um, your rings on, fingertip tight or something like that. And so I don't think I was putting them on tight enough because how they say it, it seems like you just, as soon as you feel it getting right to that tightness, you stop. And now that I tighten it a little further from that, not like tight, because the, the only thing you don't want is to not be able to take it off. So I don't, I'm not like, ugh, like that, but I do make them a little bit tighter now and I have less issues with siphoning. But again, also, like she said, exposing it to the cooler air too quickly. Yes. No, the bubbles in them will not cause botulism. You're going to get botulism mostly because you didn't cook something long enough. So like if you're doing meat, which we know for a pint of meat, it's got to go 75 minutes, but you only, you try to water bath the meat or you um, only do the meat for 20 minutes. Well, it hasn't gotten as hot as it should for as long as it should to kill off those spores. So the reason we water bath some things and we pressure can some things is because other things need that hotter temperature. No matter how long I boil water, I can boil water for three days. It's only gonna go to the boiling point, not above. So the only way to get it above the boiling point is to um, 
use your pressure canner. So that's why for some things you have to use your pressure canner because it's going to go above that boiling point. And then um, just just make sure you're following approved and um, recipes. Um, and you good, you good, boo. Guys, I have eaten from everything that I've canned that y'all seen me can. I'm not me or my family have never gotten sick. I have not I eaten from everything that I have canned. That's first I day. have not eaten from everything that I've canned, but I'm picky. So, like, I'll can something. You don't eat. What'd you say? Stop canning stuff you ain't gonna eat. Well, I might can it for like Marcus or something. Oh, and I'm, oh, I'm not gonna eat it. I don't like pickle okra. I don't want that. I don't want okra, but it's for Marcus. I'm here popping. Can you right overcook something like relish? Yes, you can overcook it. You know, just like having something on the stove, you can overcook it. You can overcook it one and it becomes discolored because it's boiled so long it doesn't have those enzymes that cause that coloring. Um, you can overcook it because overcook it and cook all the nutrients out of it. So it has no nutritional value. But, you know, we can do that on the stove. I can take some green beans and cook them for 12 hours. And they dark, 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 dark green, you know. You know how it is. Um, so it's possible to overcook something, but it's not going to hurt. Kodak went and woke Chewy up. And now Chewy looking for food. So you can hear his little feet all around here. I water bath can for 25 minutes instead of 15 minutes. That was the recipe. <laughs> It's okay, so I've, I've done that before. Like, if I don't know what time I started something, I might, you know, purposely go over just to make sure I'm good. You're welcome, GT. That's, you know what? That's what that certification for. Hey, Teresa, how's it going? Hey, so, Teresa. Those that just came in, we are canning salsa. I have canned one batch already, so I have 16 cans, jars here. I have one batch in the canner right now. I got six more minutes left on it. And then I got to finish up that pot on the stove. Woke that little baby up. Woke that baby up. Where's my wine? Good, good, good. Did I hear those pops? They popping. Silly. Hey, baby. So, are you done with everything now, Gina? Hi, Miracle. <laughs> she said hi. <laughs> Did you hear it was very low? Said, I didn't hello. hear. I just saw her make a beeline to get out. <laughs> yes. She's like, hello. <laughs> Am I done what? Are you done with everything now? Mm -mm. That was just first batch. Okay. So mine are good to sit on that the shelf. I need to clean a couple more. Yes, um, I'm so relieved was getting <laughs> ready to toss them all into the fridge and try hard to finish them within a week. <laughs> so you can reprocess something within 25 hours, 25, 24 hours. So like, let's say I've got these jars here and tomorrow morning, I noticed that some of them didn't seal. I'm gonna take them out this jar, dump it right into the pot as is, heat it up to boiling. Take those jars, clean them up so they're real clean. I would not reuse the lids. The lids are one-time canning only. You can reuse them for 
you know, if you're dehydrating something or for decoration or something, but not for canning. Um, and reprocess it. I actually have a video where one night we were can it was spaghetti sauce, canned spaghetti sauce live, and the next morning some of it didn't seal. I reprocessed all of it and it resealed. Um I always know, Psalm, that if I followed all the instructions, I feel 100% secure in knowing that my family's safe and I am safe. That's why I push following those instructions. But then I also test too. And I've, you know, taught Marcus and the family, if you go to open something, like I have some mushrooms here, they're not dated. I don't remember when I did them. Marcus brought them up from the basement and then used them. But if we go to open it and it's not sealed, they know immediately throw it in the trash. Sometimes it just happens where either in moving around or something where it can become unsealed. And I have some pantry inventory videos where I've caught some stuff that, you know, the lid just pops off. And I know that I've checked everything, but for whatever reason, it unsealed. I've had it where it spilled all over the place and I had to clean it up. It it happens. So if it does happen, don't um feel too bad about it. What's my favorite thing to can? Tomato products, GT. So tomatoes diced, whole, stewed, crushed, salsa, pasta oh. sauce. Yep. I like I like it. You're welcome, Song. I did have one that didn't seal, but I put it in the fridge this morning. It tastes good. Yeah, and you can put it in the fridge too. Or, you know, that's just what we're going to eat first. It goes in the fridge and it's like, eat that now. Yeah, the first time I did beans, I did, I think I did pinto beans. And I think I could let them cook too too much. So when when I went to can them, they um yeah that's my kid. <laughs> she always be behind, behind her cover. <laughs> um, but when I went to can them, they seemed fine. And then when I went to check, like maybe weeks later, every one of them was easy to pop over. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so when I opened up those those green beans, I had to use these to kind of prop pry it open some. Mm -hmm. um, usually, I cannot use my hand to open them; it hurts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know that that's the ghost. <laughs> <laughs> what did he say? So I'm seeing boss say no need to heat jars. True, as a newbie, should I sterilize or say? I don't, I don't use, like you see me, I take them right out of this box. If I'm using ball, I do not. Well, the, that's the lid. You said jars. Oh. Jars. I was about to say the jars. Yeah. If you're putting hot stuff in it, you want hot jars. If, if you're getting like, like maybe they changed the formula of the mason jars. So if you're picking that off the shelf and it says no need to heat the jars. I guess I would try it. They might have did something. But I know they say you don't have to preheat your seals. And um, I don't. I don't. If I'm using ball, and I only use ball seals, I, I only too. use ball seals. And I do not I do preheat my seals. I have okay, actually I'll bought heat. other brand jars, but I won't use their seals. I yep. always use ball seals. Yep. Yep, I've done the same too. Mm -hmm. I did peaches last year. Um, some I haven't done apples though, but I did. I did an apple jam, but I haven't done just apples, canning apples. Yeah, we that would were be good at... for like apple pies and stuff, or like your ice creams and stuff. Let me turn this off. But I did do peaches. I bought peaches from the peach truck last year, so I did peach salsa. I did um, I canned peaches, and then with the last of the peaches, what did I do? I made something. Was it peach jam? 
I was just gonna say, did you make a jam out of it? I think so. I think so. Cause I was gonna save them and do like a barbecue sauce or something, but I think I did a jam. I had Mimi clean out the fridge Friday, I think. And I found that apple butter that we were talking about that I didn't know what I did with it. It uh, I remember when I saw it that I didn't can it because it was only one jar. Like yeah. it boiled down so much. It was only one jar. So I put yeah. it in the refrigerator. And then we were at Kroger and I got this apple spice bread. It's so good. I sliced really? Put it in the microwave for a little bit and then put some apple butter over it. I ate like six pieces. <laughs> and then I hit it because I don't like to share. I hit it because I'm going to yeah. have the rest tomorrow. Yes, um, you need to Google and see if one comes to your area. Now, my mine is called the peach truck. I think mm -hmm. Tia's is called something different when she gets mm -hmm. peaches. Mm -hmm. So um, there's the peach truck. That's the red truck. I know I never did the peach truck because at the time you had to pre-order and I never knew how many I wanted. Like even when I would be in line, I keep going back. So I do Indian River Direct and you can go to their website and um, you don't have to pre-order. They um, when you get up to the truck, you can just get how many you want. And I've always done them and they usually come to town twice a year for peaches and twice a year for their citrus trucks. Really, Kodak? Um, I've only done they it go once. all around. They go all around. And then I know there's other companies too because Marcus is just randomly, hey, I saw a peach truck. I'm like, I don't know what peach truck this is. So there's, there's others. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm just letting those kind of get heated up some of those jars before I put this hot sauce in it. Yep. I um need to get my next batch ready. In this batch, I think I have eight eight jars. So there were seven in the first batch. The first batch was the wide mouth jars. Um, this batch is both. I have some, I think like two wide mouths and then the regular pints. Um, I just used what I had because I had some jars that were um, used before and, and some jars hadn't been used yet, but they were part of a pack that had been open. So I used up those first and then I do have a, one more brand new pack in there. But at each stuff, you're going you're gonna to have jars and rings. You just have to get more lids. I cleaned my craft room. I have two cases, so 24 jars in there. And then we had just taken a bunch of jars from upstairs down to the basement. So we took down five cases, so 12 times five of jars. And I still got jars up here, and I still got jars in there. And yep. So like when I did this, I was like, I'm not buying anymore. We're going to go downstairs and get them. So I had I two. I did the same thing. I was like, I got jars. <laughs> I had two brand new cases hadn't been opened. And then two cases that had been used. And those were just different sizes. So my first batch, they're different sizes. And then this one, I'm using a case from the basement. Yeah. Yes, empty. <laughs> Oh, gosh, you got another case of jars in there. You know, after, like, last year, that was how it was for me because that was my first year canning, so every, I didn't have jars, that, like, that weren't used. I was buying jars to can. But this year, I'm able to reuse because I ate all my salsa from last year. So mm -hmm. I all those jars. I, go mm -hmm. through, I went through most of my pasta sauce from last season. Okay. So I have those jars. We ate pickles, we ate peaches, um, we ate, I had, I did the red beans, so I've eaten red beans, we've done 
most of our canned chicken. I've eaten all of the beef. It turned out pretty. It looks the sad part is y'all, it looks prettier. It looks like how it looks in the pot in the jars. But when we put the jars up to the camera, it looks almost orangey a little bit to me. Maybe I don't know if that's what it looks like to when you see it, but that's what it looks like to me. But they look like vibrant red. Yeah. Yeah. Jars. It looks she's delicious. telling the truth. Mm-hmm. Julie has so many jars. I keep buying them when I see them. <laughs> I don't need any more. I did that last year. Everywhere I went, I was buying some. I still do I have plenty. I have plenty. Because I bought, I have everything from the the little ones, the what are those quarter of a pint, I guess. Mm -hmm. So the half pints all the way up to the um, half gallons. Now I don't can in my half gallons. I have like flour in one and my, my pantry thing. I have uh, lemon slices that I dehydrated in another one. Um, and I, I might not even be using the other ones. I can't think of anything else I have in one of those jars. Oh, I do. I have grits in my can cabinet in one as well. You said grits or ritz? No, grits. My husband eats them. I don't. I thought you said ritz. I'm like, really, Gina no. Crackers? No, grits. I'm drowning in quart jars. I need more pints. Yeah. You prefer pints or, or quarts? I, I think you're saying you prefer the pints. And I agree because um, depending on what I'm making, I don't need a I don't need a quart. So like when I canned up some of my pasta sauce, I used quarts because it's I'm making usually a family portion of whatever. Um, and I did some of my um, vegetable broth in quarts because if I'm making a soup or something, I'm going to use quite a bit. So. But other than that, I use pints for almost everything else except for my jellies. And then I use the half pints. You prefer pints. That's what I thought you were saying. He got upset when he said to warm up. Peppers. If I don't get them on sale now. Yeah, we wouldn't have any. In uh, yes. Yes. Exactly, Sam. Get it when it's a deal. Wow, that's a good deal. Yep. Because what I do is when I harvest my peppers, I actually just harvested some bell peppers recently. So either slice them up or dice them up, and then I throw them in my freezer. I have some diced up in the fridge right now in a bag that I started. Hey, David. Hey, David. So I want you to taste the salsa on the stove and then the salsa in the jar and which one you like best and why. All right, y'all, let me can up, fill up these next set of jars. Here. Marcus is going to taste test. All right. Hey, David. What'd you say? It tastes like salsa. Fresh salsa. But they don't taste alike. The one in the jar. <laughs> the one in the jar. You like the one in the jar? Yeah. Why? Has more flavor. That one tastes more like tomato sauce. So he says he likes the one in the jar. Has more. Mike. <laughs> has more flavor. Flavor. He says the one in the pot tastes like tomato sauce. So the one in the pot is the Azure standard. Remember, I seasoned that. And then the one in the jar is Mrs. Wage. Oh, okay, so he likes the Mrs. Wage better. 
Do you think the one in the pot just needs some salt? Yeah. He said yes. That's because y'all like salt. Marcus don't like salt like that. No, he don't. don't. It just brings out the flavor. But he said it brings out the flavor. But because I do like salt, I try not to salt. I'll let him or me need salt. And I'll just salt my own. When y'all see me salt, y'all y'all know I be over salting. <laughs> yeah, but I like salt. So I always ask him and Mimi doesn't need more salt. Mimi kind of like me though. Sometimes she'll be tipping me over. Yeah. So the Azure just needs salt, y'all. And Marcus, Marcus is a chef. That's what it looks like you do it. No. All right, so I'm going to get ready to fill these up. Citric acid. That's what this is. And I'm only doing six more jars. I'm done after this. Hoping that this is it for me, but it's huh? Well, it might be. I was gonna say, it still look like I got quite a bit. Yeah. This is going to be just enough. I'm probably going to get seven or eight more jars on this next round, and that's all my salsa. And I might not even get a full one on the last one. Yep. Thank you. 
All right, so this is all the salsa I have left. All right, yeah. All right. So got six left in the pot. Five, ten, fifteen. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. 32, if my math is right, pints of sauce. Yeah, I'll be having to dig through my rings. I keep them on these to find the bigger ones. It be like that sometimes. Girl, and I'm like, I know I have them, so I got the It be like that. that. Hey, Tan, how you doing? Hey, Tan. We are making salsa. And I just put mine in the water bath canner. Gina is finishing up putting hers in the water bath canner. I have one. That's not getting canned. Yeah, I, I have one as well. This one will go in the fridge and we'll eat off of this. Now, don't do like me. The last time we made salsa, I ate salsa, chips and salsa for a week straight. And swole up from the salt and the chips. It's 32 that had to be super time consuming chopping chopping and even though I use like the food processor just getting it in there and getting them out that's the time consuming part yep Alrighty, I got one, two, three, six more. Yep, six more jars in. So I ended up with 13 all together. Yeah, and one that I can't can because it isn't enough. 
So I'm just going to put the rest of it in there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I know, Mike, my, my mom is the same way. She she loves tomatoes and tomato products, but she cannot have that much of it. going to ask you. Oh, I remembered. So, Gina. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow. The um, the Walking Dead show, Daryl Dixon starts. Right. I am going to need you and your friends to maintain radio silence while I am watching that. Unless, unless you are watching it with me and we can talk about it. What time is that? Does it start? 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay, I just need to know when I be, need to be the loudest. <laughs> oh, I think I have enough for a whole nother jar. I'm still going to just put it in the fridge. Yes, Mike. Rules. Rules. She's serious too, Mike. They like to get started early in the morning. Just. <laughs> but I need them to know while my show is on, if you're not watching, either you're with me or you're against me. So if you're not watching it with me, you're obviously against me. Therefore, I'm going to need you to give me that hour. And, 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 even if you're watching it, you're not allowed to say anything negative about it. Now, you already know that's not me. <laughs> you already know. I need full support while I watch this show. No, I, I will see. I will see if I like Daryl's. You know, I wasn't the biggest on the other one. I haven't been back. But uh, so I'm said so Gina, TT gonna message you saying, shh. She absolutely will. <laughs> she be shushing us. They be, I don't know they why be I cutting up. Speak. At the most random times, they be cutting up. <laughs> it is not rare times. It's when everybody in the world is awake. Except for Tia. All right, y'all. I'm not going to go through washing that whole thing with y'all on live. I just wanted to get some water in there. That's exactly <laughs> what I did, too. Put some water in my pot. Yes, because I pulled out, that's my other water bath pot. Um, I only used it because it was already upstairs. I didn't feel like going in the basement. But it's huge. I didn't need that big old pot. I thought about pulling out my big one. But the one I used was the perfect size. Are there any other Walking Dead fans in the chat? I'm a big Walking Dead fan. All right, y'all. So I could have actually did seven jars on this last one because this thing is filled all the way to the top. Mm-hmm. Mike, you said I'll watch it. Like, I'll watch it if there's absolutely nothing else on. But I'll watch it. I don't like the way you said I'll watch it. But I just said no. 
Uh, for the pressure canner, does the water have to cover the jars by an inch too? No, ma'am. Actually, um, what kind of pressure canner are you using? Because each one is different. My pressure canner, no matter how many jars I put in it, I am only putting three quarts of water in it. Yep. My husband is a huge fan. He's actually taking out zombies right now in the video game. <laughs> Listen, I'm I'm too afraid to play the video game because of the jump scares. Yeah. I can't do the games. That's why I like the show. Like the jump scares were a thing in the first one and like a couple of the following seasons, but for the most part, the story didn't have to do with the zombies that much. I agree, Mike. Mike says, I like him now, but was not a fan at first. I agree. Um, I am a huge fan. And when there's something that I like, I'm just going to read about it and learn about it and stuff. So I never watched, I never read the comics. But after the fact, I started like learning about the comics and everything. And he was not a part of the comics he was a, an original like person for the show and they were going to kill him off but good thing they didn't he grew on people and then he got a fan base and you can't that's why i'm like you can't tell me anything about daryl you can he's say my favorite nothing, character nothing he's my number one Michonne, no ma even though she's not been on there for seasons, she's still my number two. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, Negan's my number three. Negan is absolutely my number three. I mean, Negan's up there for me, but he's not number three. No. Who would be? Who would be before Negan? For me, it's going to be Daryl, Rick, Michonne, Carol, Negan. I said what I said. <laughs> Carol will be my number four. Rick is that, and he's not high up on my totem, and I'm going to tell you why. He's too good. <laughs> and I mean as a person which is not a bad thing but I'm trying to survive out here in these zombie streets I need people who gonna, who ain't gonna be trying to like create peace so much <laughs> he be trying to make he wants to have such the kumbaya when it just is not real it's not reality the reality I feel like is, Rick is like that though because from day one it has always been about his family. Yeah. That's why he's down on my toe. <laughs> but what but what, what gets me with Nick or Rick is yeah, he could be lovable. Yeah, sometimes he's too soft, but you know what? He freaking bit a man's throw off. Say something. <laughs> When I'm gonna have to rewatch. I'm like, you know, do I need to recap? I tell you, like a, season something, episode something. They were doing this. You know, what was the situation? That'll help me remember. It was. Who it were was. The people? It was Who right. Were it was right before Terminus, like probably that episode or the episode before, right Terminus before Terminus. The, they're the cannibals. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And they were all like Rick, Michonne, Carl were like down for the night or something. And a group of people came up and they started, they, they were basically going to rape Carl. And Rick had to do what he had to do. He had to do what he had to do. They now that rape part, Carl? Gina! I must have to go back. Listen. See, see, I, I'm I'm, now I'm second guessing. No, you're my, probably right because you've watched it more times than I. Oh have. no! Well, I was gonna say I'm second guessing my confidence in you in the show. <laughs> I've only watched it one time through. Period. Oh no, no, ma'am. One. 
No, ma'am. So I have watched it it at gaps least. between the seasons. I didn't go back. Mm -mm. I am a binge watcher. I will watch I it show over and over and over again. But I, but I mean, like, it. I will rewatch it. I've watched Walking Dead at least three times. You know, I just finished The Sopranos. I've watched that at least five times. Today, I restarted at the same time House and House of Cards because I was looking for a House of Cards. The house came up and I didn't know which one to do. I have watched them both at least three times. Mm -mm. <laughs> See, I tried to go through it again and I made it to... Um, what's the guy's name? The farm. The farm, Herschel? Herschel. I made it there. You know, it was just getting good. They got on my nerves. Much like the first time I watched it. The only difference is I didn't know what was going to happen next. Because I know what happens. Gina. I was, I can't. They Gina. got on my nerves. Gina. In Grey's Anatomy, Sam, I have never seen Grey's Anatomy. Me neither. But I did watch House and ER when they were out. I did I too. Watch Grey's Anatomy. I did too. But House, I've probably watched that three or four times. Me and my friend Kanisha, that is our show. <laughs> I love House. I also like the one later that came out with um, the doctor that was autistic. Mm-hmm. Which what was that one called? Was that the good doctor? I know like a the good, some of the them good doctor. Yes. Yes. I okay. watched that one. That's boiling. So yeah. I like I like Rick. I like me some Rick. I don't dislike Rick. He just wanna be my I mean, like I mean he'd be on the team. He just mm -hmm. would be a because I feel like when it comes down to it, he going to take you out. I can't even believe you put Rick before Michonne. And your I, sure did. I sure did. Michonne walked around with her own people with no arms and broken jaws just so she could walk through the zombies. Mm -hmm. The girl is smart and she tough. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He mm -hmm. Rick wasn't doing that until they mm -hmm. met Michonne. But still, I said what I said. <laughs> but Michonne wa walked around with her own crew because she was cut off from people. And you know I'm an introvert. But being an introvert, I realized that I cannot be an introvert and I need to socialize. So when I, I say her I own people. Those character, I see those character flaws in her. But when I say her own people, I don't mean that she just that she was had her own zombies. That was her boyfriend and his whoever and his friend, friend. Or brother. Mm -hmm. But you need to be even in the zombie apocalypse. You still need to you, that social, you know. She did because, though. She found them. She was looking for people. She no, found them. she was not looking for people. She she helped Andrea, but she did not want to be around any people. When Andrea was at the in the governor place, she wanted to leave. When they were at the yeah, at the true. jail, she wanted to leave. What made that's her stay true. with them was Carl. That's true. That was her best friend. I hated Carl. <laughs> I didn't hate him. I didn't even start liking Carl until right before he died. They could have took him out at seven. I was so over him. Every time they almost got killed, it was his fault. Mine is now ready. It's timer has started on mine. <laughs> but yes, every time. Yeah. Carl could have got it. Most of the kids I was not a fan of. And that's so sad. I okay, used to watch, huh? I was looking, reading Psalms thing. It says, all it says is power, pressure, cooker, XL, and it happens It happens to have a canning function. Can't find no. a brand name on it. Psalm, that is not a canner. 
Mm-mm. That is not a canner. I have that. It's, it's in my closet over here. And I thought it was a canner. I, I was going to say a lot um, of people have. Mm-hmm. It does not. It doesn't have the weight. Therefore, it doesn't go above, above boiling like a pressure canner does. Even though it has the canning function, the canning button on it, it is yeah. not a canner. You yeah. can water bath can in it, but you cannot pressure can in it. Yeah. Um, when I first started canning, because I had that and I thought I can use that, I did a lot of online stuff. And um, they said, actually, like people were trying to sue the company like for false yeah. advertisement because yeah. it says canner, but you can't do yeah. anything with that button. Yeah. I'm sorry, so. But it's an amazing pressure cooker. It is an amazing pressure cooker. I've had it for over 10 years. I refuse to throw it away because it's still good. A nice mansion. And they were trying to have home volunteer to become every. Oh. Was it a mansion, though? But yes, I know who you're talking about. So you remember the people um, who had, they had like, um, I guess it was a mansion. They had money. It was the the mom and the sons. And somebody was injured. And they was going to try to have them as they were having the, the dead. Was that the same show? Am I thinking of a dead? Oh, what the- is this? What? Where- where, where, where is this? Have y'all seen Lost? I did see Lost. I should probably rewatch it though because I don't remember very much about I it. I remember that incident and it feels like that was um, The Walking Dead though. I don't remember that. Let me read this again. I made it to the part where they had gotten taken in by some strange cult place in a nice mansion. In a nice mansion. Only thing that I can think of is Hilltop. And they were trying to have one volunteer to become everyone's dinner. I don't remember that. This is way later. This is way later. In a mansion? I don't, I thought it was a farm. In a farm? A mom and and a... Like, um... Am I thinking of the same show? I know this this scene, so I've seen it, but I think it was The Walking Dead. TV show, mansion, mom and sons volunteer for dinner. Because they had invited them to walk. It was. It was The Walking Dead. They had, um, they were, they had asked, they told them they had to work. Um, If they helped them with something, they were going to, you know, they would provide them with food. They were desperate for food. And these people had like, they were farming and all that on their property. They had some animals. I saw that. And I'm trying to remember... It would have been way later, like almost towards the end. Would have been no, that I'm still shaking my it, head. I, I don't agree. Would it have been that season when they were telling all the backstories? Because I know there I was know, like, know a, what you meant. like a side quest with Connie. No, they because they told all the backstories. They did the backstory for Negan, where you found out about him and his wife. They did the backstory with um, um, Daryl, where you found out about him meeting the girl with the dog when he how he got dog. They remember they did a whole season of backstories about mm-hmm. the pandemic. I still don't remember it. I remember that scene. I do not. They had like um, a big like acreage of land, acreages of land, but they had fencing around it. I don't know how they were not, there was no walkers or anything, but, in, and I matter, and they were, they were, 
I want to say they were eating people mm -hmm. as well. Was watching it, not necessarily volunteer for dinner, but it was worded that way. Some videos for the week. Okay, oh, I got it. Okay, Mike. Bye bye. Thank you. See you, Mike. Thanks for stopping through. I'm thinking. I remember seeing that. Now I'm wondering if it was that. Oh, I know there was Terminus, where it was mother oh. and sons. Those were her yeah. sons. And but that really that was the only time that they were talking about like cannibalism. Terminus though was when they put them in that they locked them in that train car or something, right? No, that's mm -hmm. not it. No, that was that was it. So Terminus. No, 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 I'm saying that's not what she's talking about. That's not it. It was. But so, it, wasn't, it, wasn't, it was her, her and her sons. Right, but I'm saying that's not the scene we're talking about. This was like a house. This was not that. It was an actual house. Mm -mm. I do remember that, but honestly, I can't say that it was um, for sure that it was. Um, it was Terminus, where they made everyone leave their weapons in order to get in, and they would pick a name for who was chosen for freezer camp. Oh. So that's when they walked in Terminus, they made them leave all their stuff. And that's when Nick, no, Nick, that's when Rick oh. noticed like it was their stuff on there. And then Nick, Michonne, Daryl, and Carl, they fought them and they made them go in that box car. And when they went out the box car, that's where they took Bob, right. Glenn, all that stuff to the thing. But Carol came and rescued them. But they did a backstory on Terminus and showed how they came to be basically what they did, what they were. Okay. But they Maybe didn't, the back, they like had to leave all their stuff. Maybe but, the backstory is what I'm remembering because mm -hmm. they, I thought they were on like, um, like a farm or something. Mm -mm. I mean, it was huge. It was like a rail yard or something. So it was like a big. Yeah, that's not what I'm remembering. So I'm thinking or something. Because I was even like, well, could that be like fear? Now, I, I watched I watch Fear at the beginning and I, I stopped shortly after Madison. And then I started watching again when Morgan came in. So I did miss a chunk. And they're on their last season. So I told myself when they finish this season, I'm going to binge watch the whole thing over again. So I'm wondering if maybe it was fear. I didn't watch fear. I did like fear. I did. Destiny says she kind of did too, but I, I just didn't. And it was very slow at first because my friend, she had watched it. She's like, she couldn't stick with it. It was so slow. But it started out in a different time than the original. So they were a little slow, but they caught on. I felt like they caught on really quickly. Um, and then there was the one, the beyond. I, I, didn't, I didn't really like that, like that. But I think that was only one season and I, I didn't finish it. And then um, there was Maggie and Negan, which I'm going to watch. I will probably always watch if I like it or not, because I have to. But I did like it. I, I felt like the first, first episode or so it was slow, but towards the end, classic Negan. Classic Negan. Was Negan back in full effect? No, but classic Negan. Um, I didn't like the whole Marshall thing. That was just Sometimes you gotta let that go. No, let that go. no, no, because Negan, this was Negan. This was Negan in his glory. Like if he didn't have the saviors, if he didn't have Lucille, at the end of the day, he will always be Negan, just in a different way. And I felt like classic Negan. And even even um Maggie, she was pulling some Negan moves. Yeah. The twist, the turns. Yeah. I can't with them. I'm going to give Daryl a shot, but I couldn't. I was like, the whole. No, there's no. I'm going to give Daryl a shot. 
I'm going to watch Daryl so he keeps his ratings up so he can have a job. Oh, is that what you're doing? That's what it is. Gotcha. <laughs> and then I'm just waiting on the Rick and Michonne show. I'm definitely going to tune in to see what they, where they try to go with that. All right, so I'm ready to take my last batch out. I still have a few minutes, guys, on my last batch. Does it always do that whistling? Mm -hmm. I have never heard it until today. That's because my I'm not usually this close to the canner. Oh. Right, Sam. Look, these stores is I actually um, a lot of these stores are putting in so many sell. Even Aldi has sell, like everywhere. So, yeah, Marcus will not do it. He will not. If he's got to go to like a line, he's like, you come over here and scan it. That's your job. <laughs> Listen. It don't bother me none because I'll be trying to get in and out. Scan my stuff and go. I scan it. I will go to the self-check period. Oh, yeah, I'll do it. I'm trying to get in and out. I'm sorry, Mike. He's probably gone. So I looked at the Fruit Saver Steam Canner. Should I use it or try my water bath canner first? I don't have a steam canner, but Gina loves hers. Yep. Hey, Connor. Hey, Connor. Yeah, I, no, like self, I do not work there. I know that's right. I don't bother me none. Matter of fact, I would prefer that all places have at least and that as an option. Because I don't want to, I ain't the person that want to stand in line. Mm -mm. I feel like if there's fully staffed, though, the line is null and void. It's moving. Who, who fully staffed? Where that where that at? It it don't exist. That don't McDonald's is fully staffed. World by. <laughs> I have to think of some place. <laughs> mm -mm. Yes, I had a good day, Connor. How about you? And I'm about to have salsa, so it's a really good day. Mm -hmm. We finishing up the last of our salsa for tonight. Give it here. Kodak, give it here. Give it here. Poop it to me. Drop it. Drop it. Well, why you be buying him the little toys? He he had big teeth. That's a chewy toy. I'm sure it had stuffing in it. Maybe. He like, get it back and quit playing with my stuff. Maybe, maybe not. He didn't see it. Did you Mimi see bought, it? bought him some toy at like the Dollar Tree or something. She was so proud of it. When wow. She came and well, it was gone. Large mouth bass. Texas. Nice. That is awesome. Did you get footage of that? Did you, did you do a video? And was this just leisure or was this part of, because um, I know you do um, competitive fishing. So was this just leisure or was this a comp? Awesome. That is awesome. See, if I was in Texas, I can get some bass. I thought you were going to say 
you could go fishing. <laughs> Gina, do you no, fish? I, I don't know. I've never been. It's not, that I, it's not that I wouldn't. I've just never been. But no, why would I fish if Connor already has it? <laughs> Pre-fish for a tournament. Awesome. Listen, All right, this so is the I pre, you're in pretty good shape. <laughs> Yep, 32 pints, and then I got this quart. Wow, I need to I, look. I'm gonna have to do another batch. I gotta catch up because you know you go, you're gonna go through it. I am. Good evening, Miss Felicia. Call them Good night, Miss Felicia. Cherry Rakes and Wacky Rakes. Nice. Nice, and me. eight of them at that. Give it to me. That's nice. Give it to me. Hold up. He done pulled out every single toy. Do y'all yep. suppose Erica can get us a deal on a freaking I need to stay off her. <laughs> I will, I will um, ask her what she can do. I know that's right, so I'll be doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's awesome, Connor. Seriously. Mm -hmm. That is awesome. Um, I think Gina has talked Erica into posting some, um, some, um, I don't know what you call it. It's not prep. What would you call it, Gina? Um, it kind of is like medical prep items, mm -hmm. um, that we discussed in the live Friday, like your, um, your first day CPR, mm -hmm. um, your tourniquets, stuff like that. Medical prep things tomorrow. She's supposed to be posting some stuff. Mm -hmm. My garden is not done, Connor. Actually, it should probably be because it's kind of cooling off here. It's not as hot. But I do still have um, watermelon peppers, a few tomatoes, and some squash out there. Mm -hmm. um, and then I will do fall stuff as well. I'll have broccoli, collards, cabbage, carrots, probably kale, because I forgot about kale when I was talking about it before, and peas. I'm going to see if I can grow some peas before it gets too cold. My summer garden is done. I have, only thing that's out there left from the summer is one spaghetti squash that I was waiting for it to turn. It has turned, and my little nephew wants to come over and help me pick it. So depending on what I have going on tomorrow and what time they can come over, because they're not going to mess with my Daryl Dixon, um, I'll have him come over and pick that. But I did plant cabbage, kohlrabi. I don't remember everything I planted for my fall, but it's like that big. Everything germinated, but it's still tiny. Yeah. And I haven't been out there to water. I've actually forgot about it until you said something. Wow. Mm -hmm. I'm, mm -hmm. Yeah, kind of. Uh, Texas is still hot. Georgia, hot. Florida, hot. We are like, it's it's it might be 50s right now. I don't know. It might be upper 50s, low 60s mm -hmm. out there right now. We are going to Texas in two weeks, I think. Mm -hmm. Less than two weeks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're saying tomorrow, uh, my laptop is saying 84 is the high tomorrow. That's awesome. It's about time. I was in Texas um, last month. No. Was that August or July? August. No, July. I came and seen y'all in August. I was in Texas in July. 
It was July because it was hot. It was hot, Connor. <laughs> I was in Austin and I couldn't wait to get back home. <laughs> I was like, why? Why is it like this? <laughs> the last time we went, it was August, like the beginning of August. And I remember just like we'd go outside. And <laughs> Why? Why do y'all live like this? <laughs> the party, it was 110. Mm -mm. Uh, mm -mm. I can't tell you the last time it was triple digits here. I stopped complaining about how hot it is here. I was like, we don't know heat. Like, y'all would laugh at us. I truly <laughs> tried my hardest not to complain about it being hot here. I, you, if you ever noticed, I don't complain a lot about it being hot. Because one, it's going to get cold. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm going to complain about it being cold all day, all night. Matter of all fact, day. I put a um, heated vest into my Amazon cart. And Marcus was like, why? Why you got that in there? And I said, because I'm not going to come to work and freeze anymore. Yeah. I'm done. I'm going to get a bunch house. of different color long sleeve shirts. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to wear that vest every single day. Mm-hmm. And I am so serious because mm -hmm. like even now I share like the thermostat with my supervisor, mm -hmm. but she's always hot. So I have my heated blanket on and I'm like, what I'm not going to do. I'm not freezing. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Mm -mm. I'm getting a heated vest. I'm just going to wear it with some dress pants. I'm going to wear it with a skirt. I'm, I'm going to have my vest on. <laughs> Hilarious. I can't believe we ain't even been on here this long that long and my computer already talking about the battery is dying. Well but you're I'm done now. But I'm done. So there's that. So how many did you end up with? 13. 14. Nine. 14. I the the other one I'll put in the fridge till the 14th one. And how long is that going to last you? Don't worry about all that. Don't worry about that, sweetheart. Did you hear, Pop? I heard it. <laughs> That's what Lydia would say. Don't worry about that, sweetheart. I just want to know how long it's going to last. Until I get some chips. <laughs> Which is probably tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Because mm -hmm. I got to get my nails done in the morning at 6.30. Who made an appointment at 6.30? I'm getting my nails done at 11. I don't know what I was thinking. I won't be doing 6.30 again. I don't know what I was thinking. Gina, my I'm nails, talking about a.m. I ain't talking about p.m. A.m. My nails look a hot mess. I did a video for Humble Stewart yesterday, and I'm like, I don't ever need to put these nails on a close-up camera screen. It has been two months. I have literally picked the polish off of my pinky nail. It ain't got no polish on it. Oh. See? Mm -mm. So, uh, because I tried to get in last week, because you remember when we went, they said he was on vacation. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, well, I'll just get in like during the week this week. And their phone was just going straight to voicemail. And I looked them up on Facebook and they talking about they're not opening until Friday. And I had wanted to go on Friday, but we needed to get the car fixed. And then um, I figured today was going to be too busy. So I'm going tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be there in the morning. She called me tonight. I was like, what? I what is 40 me. degrees Celsius? It's probably 100 Fahrenheit. <laughs> I'm Googling it. It's a hundred. <laughs> How you do that? That's why you're a financial advisor. It was a guess. <laughs> it was a guess. It just happened to be right. <laughs> it says a hundred and four. I would have been like 65. I don't know. Tia, your nails always look good. I need my nails. <laughs> Thank you. They, I mean, they was cute when they was done, but they, they've grown, might grow out. So 
I let them go so long and they grow out so long and then they start to hurt yep. and cut on things and I can't go any further. I need to yeah. stop letting them go so long because they start to bend. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yeah. All right. So I think we're gonna call this a night, a wrap. Thank you, Gina. We did it though. We did, we did it. it. We did. You got your salsa. Oh yeah. And I'm gonna have to do it again because I need more. I have to, I know I have to do spaghetti sauce. Marcus was fussing yeah. at me earlier. My mama called me asking if we had any. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna have to do that. I don't want to do it though. Yeah. That's, I'm the same. I don't have as much enjoyment doing that as I do the salsa. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, I like it. It's good, that. but it's just, it's a process. Yes. I don't want to do it. But, I guess yeah. we'll do Oh, yes. Yeah, um, there's so many to do, and they're easy. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Like that peach salsa was really good. Mm -hmm. Really good. It was. And I know they have a corn salsa. I don't like corn salsa, but I mean, that's an option too. I never, I don't think I've ever had corn salsa. And I like corn. I don't like Southwest stuff. Mm. Gotcha. <laughs> it's just, that just goes on my list. So I won't have corn salsa. I wouldn't mind making it, but I'm not going to eat it. Why would you make it if you're not going to eat it? For other people. This is why she can stuff that she hasn't opened. Cause I'm not gonna eat it. I'm not gonna eat it. I don't like Southwest stuff. I don't like. I call it Southwest stuff because when I worked at Taco Bell, they called mm -hmm. it Southwest, but it's mm -hmm. really like the corn and black bean and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I like it. I like it. It's right up there with casseroles. What? <laughs> mm mm. Oh, I don't know. I know that I don't know if you follow Becky Acre Homestead. She does um, green salsa with the Thomas Heels. Check out her. Um, I don't know. But you, Gina, did you, you grow Thomas Heels or was it the ground cherries? I tried to grow them. They never came up. I mean, the the plants there, but I never got peppers. Okay. Yep. I have two of them out there, but no peppers. I have an eggplant. All summer was trying to get them to grow. They finally are growing. I have one eggplant right now. Mm -hmm. I just wanted patty pan, really. Mm -hmm. Like I had a bunch of different varieties of peppers, but like I've never had a patty pan and I really want to try it. I can get it. Mm -hmm. Everything else I think I had, I've had. Yeah. It was last year, some. So look at, go back. Uh, when I saw a candidate, it was last year, last season. But for real, for real, y'all, we we gonna go. I'm tired. Yes. Gina, I'm tired. Yes, and my computer about to die on us. Her computer about to die. <laughs> Good night, y'all. Good night, y'all.